The signs were everywhere, but now it's official we are in a recession. Soaring gas prices, falling home prices, and rising unemployment. What kind of recipe is that? Overall, that's a recipe for a recession. People worried about their gas prices right. and food prices. We're in an unhealthy market. For the well-off in this country, high gas prices are mostly an annoyance. But to most Americans, they're an, a huge problem, bordering on a crisis. The signs of a recession are forming, with inflation up 9.1 percent, prices rising on food, shelter, and transportation. There's record high inflation, gas prices averaging $5 a gallon, the stock market is tumbling into a bear market, consumer goods are rising at the fastest pace in four decades. Thirteen states now have an average gas price above $5 a gallon. When President Putin decides to attack Ukraine, then Russia's the biggest oil exporter to the world. That's a problem that's bigger than the U.S. production capability can solve. Jobs are back. Prices are still too high. COVID is down, but gas prices are up. Our work isn't done. Hello, I'm Patrick Pate. And I'm Kathy Pate. And we would be considered a middle-class family. We live in the country in Lapeer County. Right now we have three people living in our house, myself, my husband, and our college-age daughter. We are a single family income. Uh, I am an electrician, and actually Kathy just started a job recently. I work at McLaren Lapeer Hospital as a patient safety associate. And I've been working part-time for about a year. Prior to that, I was a stay-at-home mom for 25, 24 years. Currently we have three vehicles. Patrick drives a pickup truck, which is his work vehicle. I have a Chevy Traverse and my daughter has a Subaru. Smith. And I'm Lawrence Smith. And we're considered to be a high class family. High class? <laughs> Are you high class? <laughs> you high maintenance, I ain't high class. <laughs> we live in Augusta Township, which is Washtenaw County. We have a multi-family income. I am an independent agent with State Farm Insurance Company. I have been with the company 34 years. I currently work for the Detroit Police Department. I've been with the Detroit Police Department 24 years. Um, what my wife failed to tell you, we both retired from the military with 22 years of service and we work well together. In our household, there's only two of us living in the household currently. But we have a dog part-time on the weekends. His name <laughs> is Hancho. We currently have um, five vehicles in our home. Um, a Ford F-150 2013, Buick Enclave 2021, Corvette 2204, 1973 Corvette, and a 1973 Mustang. So when we want to get out and let our hair go, we get out and get in those cars and we have a great time. Now this is Kiwana's office slash shoe room and it's more more shoes than this. Thousands of shoes. She got shoes here in that closet. That's her whole store room. We have um, we dig on a project each year for our home. Mm -hmm. Last year was the garage. This year was the uh, we did the bad. My name is Tamtoya Jones. I consider myself low income and I live in an apartment complex in Flushing, Michigan. I've been living in this apartment for about three months now. Currently, there is two people living in my household. It's my daughter, Gabriella, and myself. My current household has one vehicle. It's a Jeep Cherokee. 
My current job, I'm a security guard and I'm also a freelance brand ambassador. We're headed to Kroger to get some groceries. Right now I'm headed to Walmart to do some grocery shopping. I don't have to do major grocery shopping. This weekend, two of my daughters are coming back from school for the weekend, and we're also having friends over on Sunday. So I'm taking that into account. I'm going to Walmart. I've actually been going there probably the last four weeks just because it's. I'm finding that it's a lot cheaper than Kroger, which is where I've shopped like religiously for the past 10 years. We're heading to Sam's Club. We're gonna do a little shopping. We have to get some gas and uh, we spend most of our time getting our things at Sam's Club. When we go grocery shopping, we grocery shop for the month. If we're gonna be in the grocery store after we have shopped for the month, it's because we're looking to have something different than what we typically would have. I'm getting a full week's worth of groceries at Kroger. I usually get some meats, vegetables, and snacks. Well, currently we're shopping for two, um, my husband and myself, but I also shop for my dad. My dad is 94 years old and resides in Flint, and I do all of his grocery shopping also. My budget is $100, and I think I'm gonna spend maybe 95 we really don't have a budget for groceries. We typically buy what we want. So if we go for the month, we'll spend anywhere from about 175 to 250. 2008, I was shopping for six people. I was two adults and we had four kids. I remember very well that I spent $108 a week, but that was for everything. That was like cleaning supplies, toilet paper, groceries, toothpaste, everything. And I had to make sure I kept it to 108 or less. And now with inflation, I'm spending about $200 a week for three people. Of course, it's more now with um, the pandemic, us heading into a recession. I don't think that we're buying differently. Uh, we typically buy the same things, but we realize we just have to pay more for them. With, during the recession, when every penny counted, I would always plan out my meals for a week very carefully. So that, you know, if I knew I was getting a bunch of celery, it was all going to be used up by the end of the week. And there was going to
I spent $100.52 today, which is less than I normally spend each week, but that's because I knew I wasn't doing major weekly grocery shopping. So that's really just a few days worth of groceries and because we're having some friends over. Um, this is my work truck and we're at uh, almost empty. So we're headed to the gas station to get fuel. So we took on a lot of our vehicles uh, to go below a half a tank. So I'm going to be filling the, my tank up. I'm a little bit above a half a tank. So the half a tank is the new empty with what's going on in the economy now. Today I am putting 30 in my tank. And it's probably going to get me... A little before half. It's to take 40 bucks to about 45 to fill up my truck. Now it's a lot more due to gas being so high. Typically when it's on E it would be oh I don't know $70, $80 maybe to fill it up around there but uh, lately to go from E to fill it up it's been in the neighborhood of 153, 148, somewhere around there. Gas here today is 379 per gallon and due to my Kroger membership, I'm getting 20 cents off. How much was your gas? His was 61. And how much gas did you have in your vehicle prior? Uh, a little bit over half over half he had a little bit over half and he put in $61 so mine is shedding off at $45.37 oh, really <laughs> yes and I had a little over a half a tank today's fill up is 15151 At the end of the day, you're still going to need gas to get where you're going. So, I just adjust accordingly. Um, it's not a lot of things when you get up to my age that I need to have. So, you know what? Gas is one of the priorities that, you know, gets you to where you're going. So, I don't typically worry about it. I just go pump my gas and fill my tank up and keep it moving. The recession affected us greatly. In the end, we ended up having to move. The work that I was doing slowed down to where I didn't have anything to do. And uh, Iowa, I looked it up, and Iowa actually had a lot of growth and work opportunities. Then I went out for some job interviews and um, took my sleeping bag and stuff with me and got a job while I was out there. It just completely tanked all at once. I mean, out here, we were in Lapeer County and in Genesee County, we were seeing double digit unemployment back then. And it was, people couldn't find jobs anywhere, not at fast food joints, not at, at retail places anywhere. So people, people were leaving the state like crazy, which is what we ended up doing. And that was January of 2008 that, that Patrick just picked up and went on ahead to get a job. And then we moved out there in May. We sold our house and we're, we were able to move out to Iowa to join him. My income level in 2008 was 142000 at which time I was a consultant for the company. And so therefore, that was my income and my bonuses ranged anywhere from thirty two to 40000 2008, I think my income was around... 60,000, maybe 65,000 with overtime. 2008, I had to be like 18. At that time, my sister was working. I worked part-time and my brother, and you know, I saw my mom worked. I don't feel like we weren't prepared for it because we really weren't affected by it. We were able to maintain because we don't live beyond our means. We, uh, we are about saving. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, so therefore, we didn't have to shift much at all because we stayed within our means. When the recession came, um, we weren't greatly impacted by it. And with what's going on now, I would say we're not greatly impacted by it because it is our behaviors that have shaped our lifestyle. 
we did what we could during the recession. Obviously, we didn't have a lot of money coming in. So just from a business standpoint, we thought, well, then we have to cut costs. And so that meant the kids ate a lot of peanut butter and jelly and oatmeal and lentils because you could get a bag of lentils for a dollar a bag. We were in Iowa for two years. I came back in June of 2010 and Kathy and the kids all came back in September of 2010. I feel like we're ready for if there's another recession. I think just the talk of inflation and food supply chain problems and food shortage problems, um, I do feel like we're better prepared now. I certainly think that current inflation is starting to affect my household. Things that I would normally save on, I'm actually coming out of pocket more. If a recession comes along, which I think it's already here, I'm not ready for it. I don't think there's really anything that I can do about it. I think we're ready. Um, past practice, uh, we, we, we're not big spenders. We, um, we bargain shop. Um, we take our time when we do something. Like I said, when we do a project in our home, we, we budget for it, one project a year. Um, so we're pretty much prepared for what's to come because we don't, out, we don't outspend our, ourselves.